Yes, a lot of things have happened in this short period. Though. Could you imagine that some politicians from the East met some Southeast governors to persuade them that they should not um, pursue the rules of the Could you imagine such, such F-13? So I read from Sarah reporters, some polit political, some Igbo politicians secretly met with Southeast governors to stop Namekano's release. Could you imagine? The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has said that there are some politicians from the southeast who are making frantic efforts to frustrate the release of its detained leader Nambikano. IPOB, in a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary Emma Powerful, said that its M branch revealed that some politicians visited Abia State Governor Alex Oti to persuade him not to support the quest for Kano's release from the Department of State Service DSS custody. But what they don't know is that nobody can stop the release of Nambi Kano and nobody can also stop the revolution, the revolution that is coming based on Nambi Kano's release. That's what they don't know. So powerful said, we wish to inform those criminal elements working against the release of Nambi Kano to be where because we know of their secret meetings and discussions against Kano. If they continue with their sabotage, their names will be made public soon. Also, some of the political, political jobbers in the South East region working against the occasional use of the Kano should know that they are following the activities closely. Once they release the name of some persons, I believe others will learn and they will learn the hard way. Because if you don't if they don't scapegoat others from others, once they release the name of one person that's fighting against Namika release, the others will go back. The unscrupulous indigenous individual hold secret meetings with South East governors to frustrate the clarion call of the release of Namikan, who incidentally is the only political prison prisoner in Nigeria currently. We want those sabotaging the unconditional release of our leaders to stop that they should know that nothing happens in the South East region without IPOB getting the intel ahead of time. Those Igbos involved in the distantly act to frustrate the release of Nambi Kano should retrace their steps quickly. Powerful say that Kano has not committed any crime known to law, internationally or locally. Nothing that he has been in detention illegally for more than three years. For more than three years, he has been there for nothing. He did nothing, and also courts have actually been in bail since 2022 and yet he's still in custody they have been saying that there are charges yet nothing is being shown no evidence that he's actually guilty now the kind of continual detention is a gross violation of a pay cost judgment and a slap on indibo's face as a race the unscrupulous politicians from the south east region sabotaging the leaders of Nambikano are not regarded the unscrupulous Igbo persons working against the Unconditional release of Namikano and not only working against Namikano but also sabotaging Indibo as a whole. So I think these people should be careful of what they're doing because these IPOBs they have ears everywhere, they have ears and eyes everywhere. You can imagine Namikano knows every single thing happening in Nigeria right now, despite not there, but yet he's aware. And we all know even some other others in Finland is also aware of the things happening in the Igbo land, which shows that they have ears and eyes everywhere. So I think those sabotaging the leaders of Nambikano should be careful because one, Nambikano has not committed any crime that the law say that he has committed because the law actually bade him 2022 20, now. He's been in custody for three, for years now, for three years now, they said, without any crime. So this against his law and his um, tamed kidnapping because this against his will and also is not guilty. He has been taken so many times, but yet they don't want to actually set him free. And yet they are setting other people free. They set Mieti Allah free. They set Soro free. All that have committed crimes more than what they said Namdekan has committed have been set free. But Namdekan is still in custody, which sent a message that this government are not abiding by the law because the courts have sent, have given their own judgments now the government is now holding them the kind of back against Owe, and we all know how this is um him being a quarter that brought more insecurities to the south is and more harm to us as a country so i think the best thing is to set him free and let him do what he wants to do because he agrees with the terms and yet no news 
for i'll keep you guys updated on that if you're new to my channel subscribe like and share and let me know what you think about this video just watch in the comment section i'll see you guys